Hey guys, it's LEGO God here, and today I have a tutorial video on a LEGO subtractor that you could use in a tank, skid steer vehicle, or maybe even a boat with two propellers. So here's all the pieces you'll need. You'll need one 7 stud beam, like this, five 12 tooth gears, like this, four 20 tooth gears, you'll need two 4 stud axles, there's these black ones, four studs long. You'll need two long axles, at least five studs long, but for the video I'm just going to use these long nine stud axles. You'll need two five by three eye-shaped pieces. See, it's sort of like a capital I. You'll need three three L axles with stops. So you can see it's three studs long with the little pin part on top. You will need three of these pieces that have the X on either side and the hole in the center. You will need two differentials with the internal gears. You will need two seven stud axles, the axle pins. You will need two five stud axles, like this. You will need nine three stud beams that have the X and then the circle like that. Nine of those. You'll need two five by seven frames like this. Big rectangle. You'll need eight of these two L pins with the X on one side and the circle on the other. And you'll need six three stud pins like this. So, what you want to do first is take one of these and go like that. You want to do that three times with all of them. And then you're going to connect them like this. Doesn't matter which way this part is facing. And we're going to put that on one end here. So it's like that. Then with it oriented this way towards you, you're going to take one differential and you're going to put it inside in the very center and then use your long axles to secure it in place. Trying to do it with two axles. And so you'll secure it in place like that. Feel free to pause the, pause the video and have a look. So you have that. Then you're going to do this again without the white part and with the four stud axles with these. Like this. Okay. And then you can grab this part again, one of these large 20 tooth gears on one side and then a smaller gear on the other, like that, and then do the same on the other one, like that, and then we're going to take the seven stud beams, and then we're going to put three of these three stud beams in the middle, make sure they're centered, that seems about right, and you can use other pieces to make sure they're lined up properly just to make sure there's two studs on either side, like this. And then you're going to put this um, right here, like that, next to the tan gear. And then you can actually take that out and put two three stud beams with the stops, like this. Exactly like that and then put two of the small gears on it, on the little three stud pins. So you'll end up with something like this. Just like that. And then you'll put it next to the tan gear, like that, so those mesh. Then you'll take three more of these and do the same thing, but with the five stud pins.
like that. Make sure it's all centered. And then you're going to put that with a three stud pin. Keep forgetting those little things. Just like that. Just like that. And then you're going to put that right here. Just like that. So those mesh. And then you're going to set that aside. Grab this small piece and put it with the little gear in here. And you're going to use the three stud axles here, the little beams, except I have these little pieces, this little piece on it, just so I can demonstrate it better when I finish building it. And you're going to do that on both pieces. And you want to make sure it's on the side with the white H looking part. And then, beam. Again, I have this yellow part on here for the demonstration at the end. And just like that. So you have this sort of assembly. Just like that. And then we're going to take one of the eye pieces and a black three stud beam. And then the remaining small pins. Yeah, being really vague. So you have something that looks exactly like this. And then put that on the side there. Just like that. Then we're about ready to bring the two parts together. So you're going to want to align them up. So you have the large 20 tooth gear on the left on both pieces. And then line up the frames. So you can see how that goes there. Like that. And then this is going to be sticking out. And then you're going to take the remaining two of these, put it on either end, make sure it's all centered and lined up. So you can see how that is there. Little pins, these are the three stud pins, go on those pieces there. Come on. There we go. Three stud pins there. Seven stud beam. And then that goes over those gray gears. Two more of these pins, the three stud pins, next to either one of the 20 tooth gears. Like that. And then you're going to take the empty, the one that doesn't have any changes. And you're going to put it over this long axle of your choosing, anything over five studs. So it locks those gears in place so they can't slide off. You can see there, can't slide it off. And then, you're going to do a similar thing on the other side. Doesn't matter which side to, of the gears you put these pins on. I'm going to put them on the left here, towards where the yellow pieces are. But for you, that'll just be where you mount your motors. And then, oh, gears are coming off. And then you take this one, so it covers all of them. Like that. And then there's your Lego subtractor. So you can see, this will be your steering motor, this top axle. And then this will be your drive motor. So if we hold this one still, Actually, I can get these pieces. This will help you see the rotation. So these pieces are where you'll attach your main axles to the wheels or whatever. You can see they're driving at the same time. They're both driving forward. But then if we use only the steering motor, they go in opposite directions. And if we use them both combined, it will turn in an arc if you get it at the right speed. But clearly I can't do it because I'm uncoordinated. But yeah, there's your Lego subtractor. Hope you're able to build it and make some cool contraptions. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe for more.